Everyone, Velma Garns here, also known as The Valminator, your permanent results coach. This is episode 111. So I'm gonna show you a little short ditty here. The only thing that you're gonna need, I have two dumbbells, two eight pound dumbbells, and I also have the same um, band that we used yesterday, but we're gonna focus on the upper body. So I'm gonna put this band on my forearms just like this. You can also take the band and bring it onto the upper arm here. All right, so there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, but because it's too much stress in doing <laughs> to get it on my upper arms, I'm just gonna demonstrate everything with it on my forearms here. So I'm gonna grab my weights and show you the moves here with um, one dumbbell heel because it's easier to keep your elbows apart with the one dumbbell because the width of the dumbbell is usually the width of most people's shoulders. All right, so the moves can still be the same because this, because the band provides resistance in both directions, is really gonna be a challenge for you to, to keep pushing out on the outside of the band. The other challenge is you, when you bring your arms up over your head, is to miss your head with the band, because it's gonna wanna like rub off your skin and your hair. But you're gonna reach to the nape of the neck and exhale, press up. So this move is far harder to do with two dumbbells, just so you know. I think it's challenging enough with one dumbbell, and I'm only using like an eight pound dumbbell here, is for you to bring your arms out front and just pulse like that. So let's do everything together. As always, my magic number is 10. With this move here, you're pressing the elbows, you know, where those shoulders, away from the ears, and you're standing nice and tall in the neck, and you're just pressing like that. All right, so lots of work for the shoulders, stabilizes the shoulders a lot. We're gonna do 10 all together here. So start with the first move here underneath the chin. All you're gonna do is lift so that the band goes right to the forehead or in between the forehead and the eyebrows and you're dropping it right back down. Seven, six, five, and again, a micro bend in the knees always helps to save the lower back so you're not taking that whole move in the lower back. Then you're lifting up, reach for the nape of the neck and making sure that the band clears the head here. Remember, elbows are the same width as the shoulders here. Four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm gonna get rid of the weight here for now. And remember, we're keeping the tension on the band, so there's no slackies in the band here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now the shoulder is a very delicate muscle. I'm gonna do one more rotation here. Start underneath the chin, exhale, press up. Maybe it'll be a different viewpoint. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Reach behind the head, clear the head with the band. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep pressing against the band. Six, nice, five, four. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two. I hope I'm not covering the microphone. I just thought about that. Then we're gonna get rid of the weight here. Out front. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Creating space between your shoulders and your ears, all right? So that is it for my little contribution ditty. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, if you were just floating by or you're watching the replay of this video. I really do appreciate you. Going off to teach a class this morning. If you want to know more about me, you can visit at www.bellminator.com. Or if you want more help from me, one-on-one um, -on -one help, you can click on the link in my bio or above this video if you're on my Facebook fan page. So have a fantastic Saturday. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you again tomorrow morning. Bye! Hi, Sandy. Thanks for waving. Sorry, guys, about the game. Oops.